going on everybody great disciple back with another commentary so the other night i'm sitting here and i'm watching eight thoughts streaming players unknown battleground and i was watching him for a while and i was like you know what i think i'm gonna play a game while i'm watching him stream so i get on call of duty black ops 3 decide to do team deathmatch because you know it's probably the most casual thing that you can play and this game in the background happens i'm not going to spoil it for you necessarily just watch it's insane I didn't go in here trying to do this. I always play with high streaks when I go into Team Deathmatch, but it's a really nice game. Here's the thing. Lately, I have been streaming, you know, a little bit more than I used to, you know, maybe once, twice a week. And every time I stream, I have people coming in and out of my stream asking me my thoughts on Call of Duty World War II. So I thought I would just go ahead and make a video and just tell you what I'm thinking right now and where my head is at. Now, I've watched... I'll probably five or six review videos from the guys who actually played the game. The one that is easily the best, uh, most uh, non-biased, would be the uh, the review that X Shots did. So if you guys haven't seen that, go back and listen to what he has to say because I think he makes the best points. Um, anybody who's touting it as the best Call of Duty ever or Call of Duty's back, I wouldn't believe him. Um, I love the way that 8 Thoughts put it where if your number one hype point is the fact that it's boots on the ground, that's not a good sign, okay? So let me tell you where, where I'm at right now, okay? So the first thing is the colors in the game. They look really boring and bland. I know you're like, well, they're going for realism in a war shooter. I got you, but one of the reasons why we keep going back to Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 is because of the colors. Treyarch games are very colorful, so they're more fun. So the game looks kind of bland to me. Seems to be a lack of weapons, and I know that it was an alpha build, which is actually the full game. I, I hate when people say that. I mean, if they don't have nearly the full game complete by now, then they're in trouble, but... The weapon variations didn't seem very legit. I don't care about the divisions in the created class. The weapons look boring to me. I mean, when the best, most dominant weapon in the game was that BAR, um, it only has 20 bullets, what really bothers me. I hate reloading constantly. And then the MX Garand or M1 Garand, whatever you want to call it, I can't stand using weapons that I can't reload. The other thing that I noticed is that it seemed to take way too many bullets to drop a guy. And when you're a pub stomper, like I am, and I like to go into OBJ modes, I have to have guns that if I go up against two, three, four guys, I have a fair opportunity if my gun skill is better than theirs of killing all of them. And it didn't seem to be the case when I was watching all this gameplay. It didn't seem like you could take on more than one guy at a time. I mean, we're not playing Battlefield, we're playing Call of Duty. You have to have that capability. So either you need to increase the damage of the weapons or you need to lower the health of the people. You need to be able to kill them a little bit faster. The score streaks. I am not impressed at all by the score streaks. They look boring. Now, I haven't played the game, but my favorite Call of Duty games are the ones where the score streaks annihilate because that's what I play for. I play to be rewarded for my capability in the game, my gun skill. And when I earn a score streak, I want it to count. Like anytime you called in dogs or a swarm in Black Ops 2, you were guaranteed about eight kills. You called in a load star, you're gonna get somewhere between six to eight kills. Even if they took it out quick, you could take them out really, really fast. I gotta have score streaks that annihilate lobbies. Without that, the game gets really boring to me. Even going for like Moabs or Nuclears, that gets boring after a while. So, I'm gonna say this right now. If they do not put dogs in the game or some ground streak that just lays waste to people, this game is not gonna last very long because Pub Stompers will move on. They'll go back to Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2. Which is a reason why I think that they're not going to remaster Black Ops 2 because it will kill the current title in any one of these games. They have to have dogs. That paratrooper thing looks stupid to me. I mean, if they're like the squad guys from Ghost, it's going to be pointless. I'm not going to use it. I haven't seen the ball turret. I mean, I, there's some video out there of it, but I don't know. It's like you got to be able to call in dogs and your ball turret gunner. So you're up in the, in the sky and then your dogs are laying waste to people down below. That's just what works. And if you don't have dogs, I'm sorry. This game is probably not going to work. The character models. Um, in some of the gameplays, I found it hard to pick out the characters. Now that may be able to be adjusted with the brightness and the color contrast in your menu, but this goes back to Advanced Warfare. The reason why I didn't really like Advanced Warfare was because I had a really hard time picking out the character models in the game. I had to use those scopes that would highlight the outlines of the character so it could help my old aging eyes. 
that's a big issue for me with Sledgehammer. Now, obviously, I didn't have any type of thermal back in World War II, so it is a concern for me with the character models um, because sometimes when you adjust brightness all the way up, um, it ruins the game. So I'm hoping that that's not going to be an issue. This isn't as big of a, of a deal, but it really takes away from the uh, realistic aspect of the game. Not using the Nazi symbol and having female characters. You know, whatever. You want to do that, fine. It's an arena shooter at the end of the day, but it's kind of stupid to me. Um, I'm not playing an arcade game. I want to play like, you know, a realistic World War II gun-on-gun -gun action, fast-paced game. And, I mean, how can you do World War II without Nazis? It just it doesn't make any sense to me. And then the last thing, in the um, reveal, they kept talking about the war mode, the war mode, and all these YouTubers are talking about the war mode, how much fun it is, and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, you guys, we don't play Call of Duty for war mode. We play Call of Duty to play Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirm, and Free For All. A little bit of search and destroy in there, and possibly some demolition. We do not play war mode. Who cares about war mode? It will not last. It'll be DOA, okay? Nobody's going to play that. It'll get boring real quick. I mean, look at what Fracture did. Nobody plays Fracture. It's just like, you, that's not the selling point. And then the headquarters thing is stupid. I'll tell you what. Call of Duty may have had its heyday. It may be over. Um, and I'm not negative. I mean, they're always going to sell two or three million copies of any title that comes out. But I think it's coming to an end, you guys. I think the future of the shooter genre is Players Unknown Battleground, H1Z1, the Battle Royale. Once that hits console, I think uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Overwatch, and all these other ones, I think they're in trouble, quite personally. So if you ask me, am I going to buy the game? Of course. I'm a Call of Duty fan. I will always buy the game. Am I excited about it? Not as much as I was after seeing everything that I've seen. Do I think it will last very long? I would say it'll probably be dead by end of March, beginning of April. It'll just be boring. Once they start unloading the variants and things like that, I, I think it'll be over. I'll, all I really want, to be quite honest with you, is Black Ops 2 Remastered with dedicated servers. I don't need any DLC, just give me Black Ops 2 Remastered with dedicated servers, and that is all I will play for the rest of my gaming career. So there you go. Those are my two cents. You guys have an awesome day. I'll catch you on the next one. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this.